everyone and welcome back to Zephyr Travels. This week we are leaving Anthony Cabot Regional Park and heading north on Highway 101 to California's wine country. But a good glass of wine is not the focus of this week's adventure. We are going to get in touch with our inner child at the Charles Schultz Museum. But first, we need to get to our campground. For the next few days, we are staying at the Petaluma KOA in Petaluma, California. everybody, welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this week we're coming to you from Petaluma, California. And where the heck is Petaluma, California and why would you come here? Petaluma is about an hour's north of San Francisco and we're between San Francisco and Santa Ana, California. Yeah, and we actually came here for one particular reason and that was the Charles Schultz Museum in Santa Ana, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, why else would you want to come here? What else is around here? One of the areas we did visit was Napa Valley. We decided to take a ride there, and which is about... It's about an hour's drive. From Petaluma. Yeah. And Napa Valley, I'm sure most of you know, is known for its wine and its wineries. And believe me, you can tell why. There are just miles and miles of grapevines. There's also plenty of wineries, inclu including Robert Mondalvi, Sutter Home. We did stop at a couple, and what we found out is you do need reservations yes. for the wine tours and the wine tastings. And don't go on a Saturday. We went on Saturday and it was crowded. We really didn't get a chance to really enjoy the wineries as much as we would have liked to because of the number of people there. Right, and like I say, you do need reservations. And the tours themselves and tastings are a bit pricey, so be prepared for that. And they also, the one store that we did go into, they carry the better wines, so those are a little pricey as well. We did enjoy the area, and we did drive into St. Helens, which is a nice little town. We did park the truck and get out and walk around. And that was a nice place to visit. And there's a lot of great little places there to eat. So if you're planning a trip up there, you might want to plan into your lunch to be in uh, St. Helens. On another day, we drove to the northern side of the Golden Gate Bridge and we went through the nice city of Sausalito which is a, again, a nice, a nice city. We did take the dogs for this particular trip. Uh, Monty was a little afraid. Um, he doesn't like crowds. crowds, but he did very well. Yes. And again, it's another city with um, restaurants, nice shops. There is a huge harbor there with mostly sailboats. And the day we went, it was a great day. Out, day. It, it was a great day for sailing on the San Francisco Bay. We're on the waterfront in Sausalito, California, which overlooks the San Francisco Bay. It's a great day for sailboating. The 
Sausalito is a really nice kind of seaport type of town. You feel like you're in Maine or someplace right on the ocean where you're actually on the bay. Um, and it's really a nice place. Right. And we also did take in one of the scenic views of the Golden Gate Bridge, which is located on one of the hills right next to the bay. So we did drive up there and we did take a look and it was a fantastic view of the Golden Gate Bridge. We are now up on Route 101 and there's a really good scenic overview of the Golden Gate Bridge from this area. So we want to walk by here and uh, check it out. For a ride. We went up to the Golden Gate Bridge and went up and drove along the scenic road, stopped a couple of times, took some pictures, looked at all the sailboats, um, drove into Sausalito, parked and walked the dogs around a bit. So yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, it, it is. It was a, it's a great place. Everyone goes there for the pictures. You're gonna get the you want to kind of go in the afternoon when the sun is on that side of the bridge but you get this great view of the north side or the west side of the bridge. And also, not only the bay, but downtown San Francisco. Yes. And so they, Alcatraz. Yeah, yeah. So I would highly recommend you do that if you are in the area, being a tourist. Yes. Um, it's probably one of the more known facts, but yeah, it's definitely something you want to do while you're in the area. Santa Rosa, California at the Charles Schultz Museum. We decided to come and visit this museum as we really love peanuts, especially Charlie Brown. So we thought it would be well worth our time to come and explore. Yeah, we're lifelong fans of uh, peanuts comic strips. Probably like a lot of you are, grew up with them as a child and, and have always kind of followed along with the, the cartoons, the uh, television specials and the movies and such and, and had the memorabilia and everything throughout our life. Yeah, the Charles Schultz Museum, I mean, who hasn't heard of Charles Schultz? 
the Peanuts cartoon, Charlie Brown, Lucy, Linus, Snoopy. Snoopy. Um, going into Santa Ana and seeing that museum, but not only that, but you can go to the ice skating rink where you know, Charles went for lunch at the Warm Puppy every day. Actually had breakfast there in the mornings too. Part of his routine. It's, you know, it's where he created the cartoon strip for 30 years. It's a fantastic museum. You really see into how Charles Schultz developed the comic strip and um, how famous it became and how many years it ran, how he started out, his military service, family life. Um, it includes a lot of neat short movies. They actually did move his office into the museum. There's a couple murals that he had at a couple of his homes for his daughters. Yeah, that he painted on the walls. Uh -huh. Yes. Right. So, and outside there are um, statues. Well, well, yeah, they, they've had this. Um, deal where they did it in Minnesota and then they did it in Santa Ana and it was called Peanuts on Parade and it's where local businesses bought a statue of Linus or Charlie Brown or Snoopy or Woodstock and they painted them up you know differently for each business kind of representing something different and they've collected a few of those at the museum and they're out in the gardens and they're actually around the skating rink and they're really kind of cool. Right and Unfortunately, we didn't have the time, but if you go through the city of Santa Ana, we understand there are some of these statues located at different businesses within the community. Yeah, yeah, I think mostly around the downtown area, but we, unfortunately we didn't get time to do that. Um, we spent so much time at the museum. Right. I, again, you know, estimates, you know, they're going to tell you to, you know, you're going to spend a, an hour, an hour and a half at this museum. I think we spent three, uh, three hours plus right. there. It is really worth it. There's also a Snoopy gift shop that is over next to the ice skating rink. There is a gift shop in the museum and they have some unique items from the museum. But the Snoopy gift shop has a lot more items, a lot more peanuts um, and Snoopy and, and uh, characters items there. So we highly recommend you take the trip over there, bring your wallet and your credit card, make sure you've got a good balance on it because you're going to spend some money. Right. And also the little, the store right in the museum is smaller, but it does carry some different items from yeah. the items sold in the gift shop. So you want to be sure to check that out as well. There is, there is, um, I didn't think it was too bad an, an entrance charge to get into the museum. The museum is open every day except Tuesday and uh, I believe it's open till f from 11 till 5 every day except Tuesday. Yeah, so, and in summer months it is open on Tuesday. It's just the winter time that they do the reduced hours. Right, so if you ever are in there, or if, and we would recommend a special trip, especially to see this museum, and um, it's well worth your time and I'm sure you know, not, it's not only a great place to visit for us older folks, but for the younger folks as well. Yeah, I mean, what kid doesn't like, you know, Charlie Brown and the gang? You know, the, the cartoons have been on TV forever. Unfortunately, you know, we don't see the comic strip anymore like we used to, um, you know, as, as newspapers don't carry comic strips like they did in the past. But it is fun to walk through there and read all the comic strips. And then for the younger kids, they do have um, a theater that you can watch some of the movies and such with. They have them playing like every 30 minutes. So, yeah, we can't really say any more about how much we enjoyed our visit here. Yeah, and you can always go over to the Warm Puppy and grab lunch. Right. Yeah. Well, I think that puts an end to our trip here. Mm -hmm. We're hitting the road today and we're going to Sacramento. Right. And we don't know what this we're going to see in Sacramento. We got a couple things in mind, and but we're going to kind of explore that city and check it out. So you're going to have to wait till the next video to see that. But until then, we got some homework for you. What should they do? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications because we post videos on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you follow along on our journey. So until the next time, guys. We will see you down the road. Take care. Bye. Bye. Today we're in Santa Rosa, California at the Charles Schultz Museum. That's your cue to say something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try this again. All right.